so my whole business is basically contained in this one box these pens Oops. second one is inspired by my these plushy pelle he's right here before i show you guys how i run my shop i just really want to apologize for the huge mess the radiators here are going to be replaced all over in the apartment and they put these really ugly ass frogs all over the apartment i guess to protect the floors and we had to move all the furniture away from the radiators so whatever guy who's going to replace them have space to work i will show you guys where i store everything so my whole business is basically contained in this one box it's not true i also have this here but it's not it's not the products that's in here it's just bubble mailers but i will get to that later so I have a box full of my products. I'll just have to unpack everything and show you guys what I have. My first products ever to be launched in my shop are these pens. Oops. My first products to ever be launched in my shop are these cute little ghost pens. So I have four of them. The first one I have is a little cute ghost who is wearing a scarf. I don't know if he's freezing or if he's scared. Maybe he's both, but he's really cute. And then we have this ghost here who is holding a little flame. And I know you're not supposed to pick favorites among your children but I think this one is my favorite. And then there's this classic white ghost who is holding a star. He's chasing the stars because he wants to be among them. And we have this ghost. So his backstory is that he wanted to prank someone, but it backfired and now he's entangled in some toilet paper. He's a little prankster. Now onto the stickers. They're underneath these ones. I have two stickers. The first one that I ever got is this one. Um, it's a hamster. I call this hamster Hector and he's wearing a cake. And uh, he just has little choppy cheeks. It's really cute. Then the second one is inspired by my goose plushie, Pelle. He's right here, chilling on my chair. He looks so cool. It's like the kind of vibes I want to manifest. But yeah, this is him waving at you and wearing a little flower hat. As you guys see, I don't really have many products in my shop right now. It doesn't have to like be grandiose to begin with. It will expand gradually. That's what I plan to at least. Lastly, I have some packing cards for the ghosts. It's just the haunted house. So I got them printed twice because the first batch were too dark. This one is the correct one, and this one is the darker one. They're almost like you couldn't really see the illustration, so I had it reprinted correctly. So the colors were a bit more clear. For shipping my, my stuff. Okay, so I have these boxes, which I saved from um, other online orders that I made. And I just removed the labels from them, so now they are just empty cardboard boxes. Just in case I get a really big order. I don't know if that will happen. I doubt, but just in case. I have these. So I'm just recycling them, basically. And I have these... A lot of these bubble mailers. Um, inside, they are like bubble wrapping to, to, protect, to protect the products. I don't really like that there's plastic in them, but these were the cheapest one I could find. Eventually, when I get some profit, I will find some new shipping 
containers which are a bit more eco-friendly but this will su suffice for now and then if i just have to ship stickers i'll just use um, a normal envelope or something like that i have a lot of them stored somewhere else i'm not going to show you guys right now yeah and this is it this is basically my whole shop contained within a single box almost and now i have to pack all these things away <laughs> okay and that was it for now i guess thank you so much for watching guys and i hope it will be um, i want to say an unregretful journey but i think there's a more positive word for it i just can't think of anything right now i hope it will be an unregretful journey and also for you guys of course Thank you. Bye.